King Charles has been meeting families and survivors of last month's knife attack in Southport, uh, three weeks after the attack which claimed the lives of three young girls. The King also thanked emergency service workers when he visited the Southport Community Fire Station, that's in the northwest of England, and spoke to local community and faith leaders as well. The King also signed a book of condolence in the local town hall, uh, signing his name, adding in deepest sympathy. King Charles uh, is also scheduled to meet the three bereaved families in London. Elsie Dot Stancombe, B.B. King and Alistair Silva Aguia were stabbed to death at a Taylor Swift-themed dance class. Hours after the three girls were killed in Southport, misinformation spread online which fueled riots across parts of the UK. Well, let's speak now to our correspondent, Charlotte Gallagher, who's in Southport and has been following the King's visit there. And uh, Charlotte, just describe first of all where exactly you are. We can see all of those flowers behind you. Yes, I'm outside the town hall, Anita, where the King came earlier today. And you can just see the sheer number of bunches of flowers, of plants, balloons. There were soft toys out earlier as well, hundreds of soft toys, but volunteers have taken them inside the town hall now because it's been raining and they didn't want those cuddly toys to get wet. But throughout the day, people have been arriving with more bunches of flowers, people writing messages, candles have been left, and also on the benches just in front of me there and the walls behind, you might be able to see the pink ribbons that have been tied to the different lamp posts, benches, fences. Lots of people in the town even wearing pink ribbons on their lapels and the ribbons say Southport stands strong. So a really emotional scene outside the town hall. Many people coming just to look at the tributes that have been left to those three young children who were killed in that stabbing attack. So the King arrived here earlier today and his first port of call was inside the town hall and that was to meet the families directly affected by the attack and the surviving children. And that was a private meeting behind closed doors and he spent quite a bit of time talking to them. Also, John Hayes, who viewers may remember, he was a businessman in Southport. He was one of the first people on the scene at the attack and he tried to intervene, he tried to tackle the suspect and the King spoke to John Hayes and they had a chat and John Hayes said how wonderful it was to meet the King and how wonderful it was that he'd come here to Southport. Now, after he had this visit inside the town hall, the King then went to a nearby fire station and he met the police, the paramedics, the firefighters, some of the first people on the scene after the attack and he spent time talking to them. Also local faith leaders, they were at the fire station as well, the local imam, because in the days after the attack, the local mosque was subject to violent disorder really. People turned up outside the mosque, bricks were thrown at it, there was racial abuse hurled at people inside the mosque. People were very scared obviously that were inside, so the king spoke to the imam. So a full day really of meetings for the king here in Southport and we understand that he held off coming until his visit wouldn't put additional pressure on the emergency services. Obviously they were inundated with work in the days after the attack and the king didn't want to add to that. He didn't want his security to be a burden for them as well. Charlotte, thank you very much. Charlotte Gallagher there in Southport.